Hey G Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode we have this cool amazing product right here in my hand, if you can see. Basically what it is, is a numbing spicy instant hot pot dish. So for this one, it doesn't need to be like self-heated or anything. All you guys have to do is just like add in all the ingredients, cover it up, and then it should be ready to be eaten. So this one has like, I guess the veggies, the chicken, and some other ingredients. You can see that it should be in super numbing spicy. This is like more like a cold dish, I feel like, than like a hot dish. And then for the brand of this product, you can see that it's in Chinese, but in English, I believe it's called Yumei, Y-U-M-E-I. So you can see that this product is a little bit different than the uh, other one that I tested from last time, which is by Heidi Lau. But they also have this little measurement thingy that let you guys know where to fill the uh, water up to. Um, but this one is not like a self-heating one, so this is a little bit different. Uh, don't do what I did last time where I filled it up to um, right here, like all the way to the highest point. But like I said, this one is a little bit different. It's not like the self-heating hot pot one. This is more like an instant one where you guys add ingredients and then it's ready to eat in. So let me actually open up everything and show you guys what the inside looks like first. So you can see there's a little hole right here for the steaming option, but I don't think this is gonna be steaming or anything. All right, so there's all these like different packets. So there's like a powder packet here. There's a pea packet here. There's a chopsticks right here. I don't think I'm gonna be using this chopstick though, but these are actually really cool because you guys can actually fold it into like a chopstick, like stick it in together like this. I'm gonna save this for next time when I actually need it because um, these are really cute and it's really compact, so they're useful when I bring it on the go and whatnot. I believe these are some pickled uh, vegetables or something. They provide us uh, some dry tofu. There's one pack here and one pack there. It's a two package. I believe this is a spicy sauce. Here we have, I believe, the vegetables. And this one might be the meat. I'm not too sure. We're gonna open it up and find out in a second. And that's basically everything that's inside. So you wanna add all the ingredients in here a little at a time. So let's do all that first. All right, so let's add in the vegetables first. This is our first one that we have right here. All right, put that in. So that's the first vegetable packet. All right, let's add in the next package, which is right here. Wow, look at that. It's like a mountain of vegetables, I love this. Next, we're gonna add in our dry tofu right here. All right, so those are the dry tofu. Since they provide us two packs of tofu, we're gonna open both of them. All right, next we're gonna add in the soup right here. This is the spicy numbing soup. All right, we got the scissor, I cut it open. Let's pour it in. There's a lot of sesame in here, as you can see. All right, next we're gonna add in our little pea packets right here. Next, we're gonna add in our little pickled uh, pickles right here. All right, add these in. All right, and then the last and final one, which is a little powder packet. We can add these in as well. All right, so we got chopsticks. So you just wanna stir this. Make sure everything's all mixed well. And then we'll cover up for like roughly three minutes and it should be ready to be eaten. Make sure it's mixed well so that all the ingredients have like the flavor and whatnot. All right, that looks good. Let's cover it back up for three minutes. All right, so it's been roughly around three minutes. Let's open up and see what it looks like now. It doesn't look like anything really changed, but the actual ingredients uh, definitely went into the actual food itself, like the flavor of the sauce packet and everything. Definitely smells amazing, but let's give it a try and see what it actually tastes like. Hmm. The tofu is actually really good. It's not like too spicy either. It's just right to the point where it's enjoyable. Hmm. Let me try some other stuff in here, some other vegetables in here. Hmm. This is definitely really, really good. So on this product, it mentioned that it's like a veggie chicken, but I don't taste any of the chicken in here. So I don't know if they sent me the wrong one or like, it's like a vegetarian chicken. I'm not too sure. So I'm gonna go finish this up first and we'll come back and talk about the product in a second. Two hours later. 
So I just finished the dish itself. It didn't feel like it was actually that spicy. It wasn't as spicy as I thought it would be because on the packaging itself, you guys look at it, it says it's numbing spicy on here and it wasn't really that spicy. And also like how I mentioned, it said that it had supposed to have chicken there, but I didn't see any chicken in here. So that was actually kind of weird. Not a huge issue for me because I'm trying to cut down on meat anyways and eat more vegetables. So this is actually really good. The overall process of making the product itself is actually pretty easy. The only thing that kind of sucked is that they didn't really have any instruction on the actual package itself. So if you guys didn't know how to like look for the instruction or like how to actually read Chinese, then you guys wouldn't be able to know how to make it or not. But after testing the actual product itself through the unboxing and like the making process of the actual product itself and actually tasting out the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth or not. So the price range that they are charging for this product itself is not too expensive, not too bad. It's actually affordable price. And for what you guys are paying for, it's actually pretty good quality. So pretty much long story short, I would definitely have to say that this is worth it if you guys want one or need one of these, uh, especially if you guys love hot pot. <laughs> But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want one or don't need one or have no use for one of these or if you guys just don't like hot pot in general then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need but other than that that's pretty much it for a little quick unboxing and testing of the product itself hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did then make sure to subscribe like and comment down below and if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future but as always make sure to stay positive be you and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G Squad fan shot day we have. <laughs>